the ghetto superheroes. See that visible stuff? That's the name of the channel spelled just like that. If you like a video, like a video, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. When I talk about the ghetto superheroes, two types of people come in mind. The big dog in the neighborhood, you know, they sold a lot of drugs, got a lot of money, got a lot of cars, women, material possessions. Or when you take it a step further, somebody who used to be in that environment, whether it was in the streets or not, and, 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 and um, got some type of commercial success, like a big time rapper or somebody who then came up out of that and now they own a record label or, or whatever, so to speak, right? That's the ghetto superheroes, the way that people look at them. When you see the videos about them, you know, people talk about how they look up to certain people, right? Hardcore certified, uh, without a doubt, gangsters, right? People who, you know, uh, did things that, you know, destroy neighborhood, destroy generations, and still destroy neighborhood and generations to this day. It's a very, uh, it's, it's, it's very twisted, lo twisted logic. It's very twisted, twisted logic. This ain't no diss at nobody. This is just real talk. Because a lot of things that those ghetto superheroes done that people are really, really in awe of, looked up to. You know, I wanted to be like them. What did they do? Right? Even the ones that made it out and got commercial success, but still promoting the same stuff. Right? The same things that that superhero done, that ghetto superhero done, they promoting those same things. Those who made it out, got a rap career, uh, got their own record label and putting out music, uh, uh, putting out artists to make certain music. Talking about the same things that was done in the first place, right? All these things are, are really negative, destructive things. Now the question is, how did it get to the point where they, you look at them, uh, people look up to them as like ghetto superheroes. If everything that they are doing it's wicked and destructive. Now, when I say everything that they do, and I'm talking about the street activity, because I know some people are going to say, oh, man, they used to, you know, buy the little kids' shoes. They used to pass out this. They used to pass out that. All right, cool. Keep doing that good stuff. That is good things. But how did you get the money to be able to do those things? That's what I'm talking about. So we can put the good deeds aside. I don't think nobody got no problem with nobody doing something good. My issue is calling bad good looking up to them wanting to be like them for things that's bad but that's actually looked at as a good thing that's what i'm talking about right because like i say generations has been destroyed and still being destroyed right snatching up a youngin taking him under their wing messing up his life about to have him going down a certain road all this is negative destructive stuff how did it get to the point where that's the good how did it get to that point? That's a question. Act, think about that. And what could be done about it? Because that's a that's a huge issue. I kind of talked about this kind of stuff, really, in another video I made called Wake Up Call to the Hood. I, I, I don't want, I'm not going to go all into it because I don't want to sound repetitive. But I talk about how a lot of people's identity is given to them by the streets check that video out whenever you get a chance but if a lot of negative destructive stuff is being done and promoted and you take it on as the ultimate thing to be like or the ultimate thing to emulate so to speak that's a serious problem and I think millions across the world it's actually doing that. Do something about it. You don't gotta be a celebrity. You don't gotta be a big dog in your neighborhood. You can be your own individual and start from there. Everybody got a certain level of influence in some type of way. See the invisible stuff.